Hello and welcome to what we talk about when we talk about film. Uh, this is our Shelf of Shame episode one. Uh, so one of us has never seen Alien before until we force them to watch it. And that would be Daniela, our producer. Hey. So uh, Danny had never seen Alien before. Yeah. Ridley Scott's classic sci-fi horror and one of my favourite films of all time. Um, it's one of the most influential, famous science fiction films, we all agree. Yep, um, true. We yeah. all saw it many years ago, I assume. Yeah. 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 Great. In the womb. <laughs> <laughs> or in the chest. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, so Danny, uh, this was on her list of, I was on her shelf of shame, so a list of films that she was embarrassed that she'd never seen before. And we made her watch it. So Danny, yes. take it away. What did you think of Ricky Scott's failure? Um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. But I don't think I would want to watch it again. <laughs> You want to watch Alien again? Yeah. Why not? I think I'm not just a, I'm not a fan of science fiction, and okay. it did scare me a bit. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really like it. I love that the um, the main character is a girl, and that you don't see her being the main person that survives in the end. Spoiler, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I quite like that you don't see it at first, and then kind of goes on. Um, yeah, it was good. Okay. It was good. It was good. It was good. It's it's alien. I know, I know, but I think it's because I watched it like now. Okay. Yeah. That it kind of, I don't, because there's so many other films that Is have come it, out. Do you think it's one of those things that you have to watch at a certain age to really be attached to? I think it? so. I think mm. it's because it's so influential mm. that when you see it now, mm. when you've seen loads of other things, you think, oh, it's just like that, it's like that, it's like this. Yeah. Like this. yeah. yeah. Whereas when we saw it, it was quite, it still felt new. Yeah. How old were you guys when you saw it? I watched it quite late. I think I was in college when I watched it, so I didn't watch it that early. I think yeah, I was like 13, 14. Yeah, I think I was like 12, maybe. Yeah, I was younger. So. My parents watched it, and I watched it like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was made in the, like, was it the 70s? 79. 79. Which is amazing. Yeah. Because it looks Absolutely. so good. Yeah. yeah, and they're not trying to make it look... Because you know, like, science fiction now, mod, they sometimes when they go into like the future, everything looks like the Apple store. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this looks like really grungy and gritty. Mm -hmm. And I think they used the phrase truckers in space. Yeah. So these aren't like, they aren't all super intelligent scientists. They're just regular people that happen to yeah, be in space. Yeah, industrial with all the yeah. chains and everything. And, and they're like, the, and they're mm -hmm. moving oil around, aren't they? Or something. Some so it's not even kind of out to explore or to do anything particularly scientific. It's just yeah. menial work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Danny, what did you think of the chest burster scene? Because that's the scene everyone talks about, and when that first happened, that's the that's the talking point of the film. The chest burst when the alien bursts out <laughs> of the man's chest. <laughs> oh yeah, I did not expect that. Like, didn't I expect didn't expect that. Have you never seen that before? Uh, I've seen that in like the thing and things like that. But I mean that you've never seen that scene before. No, it's okay. been referenced no, no, a lot. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I didn't know about it, so it was just like I think I jumped in my seat a bit. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah. I know the that bit I already knew about, but the robot. Oh, Ash is a goddamn robot. Yeah. yeah. Did you know about that? Yeah. I didn't know about that. Like, no. I didn't know that. Was a yeah, surprise that was great. I, I knew the chess burst scene because I watched Spaceballs. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Which that was really funny, I think, that, that spoof, but, yeah. Yeah, the bit with the robot is weird, because yeah. there's a bit where he literally does that. Yeah. And then on Ridley Scott's commentary, he was like, oh, I hate that bloody shot. <laughs> he literally does that, and he's like, why did he do that? Yeah. Um, yeah we, we watched um, Morgan recently. Did you watch I Morgan? I did watch Morgan. Oh, right. Did you already watch no. Morgan? Alright. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, no one watched Morgan, which we know from the box office results. So, one out of seven people watched Morgan in this room and it, this is a film directed by Luke Scott, Ridley Scott's son and it just feels like he has watched Alien and Blade mm. Runner mm. and like yeah I can do this <laughs> <laughs> and then just make nothing remotely as close to it. Yeah. I think the interesting thing about Alien as well is comparing it to Prometheus yeah, yeah. which is kind of sad for me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it seems like uh, what I like so much about Alien is that they use so many practical effects right mm. Mm. And then Prometheus seems to be like it, it's meant to be the prequel, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like but a couple it, hundred years before, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's so I don't know. It to it looks totally different, to Alien. But I think it was so hyped up anyway. Yeah, yeah. like it yeah. couldn't have mm. like reached the expectations that it, you know people put out for it. I think with Alien as well, it's so simple. <coughs> Prometheus tries to answer 
like the, the biggest question of all time, where do we come from? Mm. Whereas Alien is literally a haunted house movie in space. And that's it. it. I think the problem is Ridley Scott. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were talking about killing, killing streaks. We were talking about uh, director streaks. I just keep thinking of killing all the time. Uh, <laughs> and, and Ridley Scott just fell off really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, like a decade ago, or, or I don't know. And, no. and Ridley Scott's only made a, f- a handful of actually great films. Mm, yeah. yeah, but they're all so different as well. Yeah, that's yeah. what I find quite fascinating about him is that, like, we watched one of his early films, didn't we, of the guy on the bike? Oh boy, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and well, yeah, sorry, I just butchered that but, that title, but um, yeah, it's just so so different. Like every single thing that he's done. Yeah, really the man that made Alien mm-hmm. also did Thelma and Louise. Yeah, and Hovis, and Hovis, yeah, and the um, Mac. Oh, the 1984 yeah. Macad, yeah, yeah, that was good. Well, the funny thing is you said, really, Scott said he made a handful of great films. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. But I think he's made about, like, three or four handfuls of bad films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the ratio yeah. Is, the, is the real problem. Yeah. I- especially recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, although The Martian, I thought, was pretty yeah. brilliant. The oh, Martian yeah. was great. Yeah. But I thought the sound no, was I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. No. You, yeah. you didn't either, don't you? No. Yeah. Okay. no. Good. 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 Yeah. Oh, you guys didn't wake up? No. Mm. no. So it's the third best film? His third best film? Yeah. Wow. What? Oh, what? Well, there's... So I'll have you like... Alien, Blade Runner, Martian. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Not from Norman Louise, Gladiator. Gladiator is so cheesy! Oh, I'm a Gladiator defender. I love Gladiator. You're a Gladiator for Gladiator. I'm Gladiator for Gladiator. Jake was not entertained. You can go on my work for something. That's 300 prizes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not entertaining. That's better. Oh, actor. Which, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you played yourself. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do the hypometer. Okay, yeah. So oh, yeah. this is our hypometer for the Shelf for Shame episode. So on one side, you have we're going to measure the level of hype for a film. And then on the other side, we're going to do the... Uh, person that watched the film for the first time give the score compared to the level of hype. Okay, that and sense? it's scores out of 100. So what would you give Alien as a hype? I, I think pretty high. Pretty high. Pretty high. I think like 90. <laughs> 90? 90? Yeah, 90? 90 fair for hype for yeah. Alien? 90, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. that influential, it's that famous. I mean you had heard of it before you saw it, yeah, I assume, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's a 90 for hype for Alien. Danny, how does it match up? 85. 85. 85. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. I didn't say I didn't like it. No. I just said. Uh, it, but it didn't live up to its hype, ultimately. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's pretty close to that. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah. It's not Prometheus. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Prometheus. It's not Prometheus. is like 100 to 1 or something. Yeah. Prometheus is 100. <laughs> Level of hype. <laughs> <laughs> I think you meant school. No, no, no. Like 100. Oh, and 100 one there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I haven't seen that one. Oh, well, that's oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, do you want to watch the other Alien films? Uh, I heard they're not good, though. They're good. They're different styles. Oh, they're the the Aliens, James Aliens, Aliens is an action the film. Big yeah. Directors. Yeah. Big yeah. Directors. Yeah. The big directors. Yeah. The third one's David Fincher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Maybe even that one isn't correct. I think that was very good, either. Yeah. Charles Dance is in it. Yes, I said to her. I'm going to say. And the fourth one's Jean-Pierre Junet. And that's the craziest one. That's the crazy one. I never watched That's that. Alien Resurrection. Oh, it has an alien human hybrid in it. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't talk, we don't talk about this, so. We don't talk about this. Good job. Did that. Wrap, right. it Wrap it up. Should we just. Me or. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>